Pokemon, which is debatably already a fighting game, is finally getting its very own fighting game! The game will be titled Pokin Tournament and will feature a playstyle similar to that of Tekken. You know, Tekken, Pokemon, Pokin. I don't write this stuff. Come on, guys, give me a break. Anyways, the game is bound to be chock full of awesome Pokemon such as Machamp, Lucario, and Blaziken, who have already been confirmed, and the rest is really just for us to speculate at this point. So, that's what I'm gonna do. Speculate. Here's 25 pokes that I would personally love to see in Pokin Tournament. The first Pokemon up is definitely a no-brainer, Mewtwo. For one, this is a huge fan service that definitely needs to be carried out, and having already been in a fighting game, Mewtwo just feels like the perfect contender to me. He's got psychic abilities that can manipulate the battlefield and some projectiles as seen in Super Smash Bros. Melee. He's legendary, intelligent, and overall just too badass for Bandai not to include him. Speaking of badasses and fan services, Charizard should also be in this game. This guy has been touching our hearts since Generation 1 and has become one of the faces of the entire Pokemon franchise. Well, along with this fat yellow sh**, but enough about him. Charizard has got two mega evolutions that they could easily incorporate into the game to change up his playstyle, and the dude spits fire and flies. That just screams fighter. But of course, how could we leave out this last but not least Firestarter Pokemon, Infernape? We've already got Blaziken for sure, and if Charizard were to be thrown into the mix, we'd have no choice but to let Infernape join in on the fun as well. This Kung Fu Monkey is also a fire Pokemon, but would be a much more hands-on fighter, I feel. Flare Blitz and Close Combat are a few moves that I see him using, and it would be additionally cool if these moves hindered the fighter's abilities after use, just like in the normal Pokemon games. At this point, you guys are probably sick of seeing fire pokes, so how about an electric one? Electivire would be undeniably cool to see in Pokin Tournament. I would find it a tad mundane if the game was filled with only fighting types, so I've got our good friend Electivire to mix up the formula for us. The guy already has fists, which is the equivalent of saying, hey, I'm gonna beat the tar out of you, and a wide array of electric moves would complement the crap out of this. You know what else would complement the game? Scissor. The Pokemon has the sturdiness of steel, yet is super agile, which is a concept that is bound to make your head spin. Plus, take a gander at his Mega Evolution and tell me Scissor isn't officially the coolest thing since dinosaur-shaped chicken nuggets. That's actually the biggest selling point for me. He's cool. Don't get me wrong, he's deadly and all, but just so, so cool. Another cool Pokemon that just absolutely has to make it into the game is Zoroark. Zoroark has the unique ability Illusion, which disguises it as one of your other team members. While this wouldn't work in Pokin given the game's one-on-one -on -one combat, I still think that we could add a fun twist to it. I sort of envision Zoroark being able to transform into your opponent slash any other random Pokemon from the roster, allowing you to use different movesets. Sort of like Shang Tsung from Mortal Kombat, only in the form of this Night Wolf of Death. And if you want to talk death, I'd be more than happy to introduce you to Conkledur, who I strongly feel should be in Pokin Tournament. For a while, Conkledur was the go-to fighting type for the metagame and still wrecks competitively. The huge mounds of concrete that he's carrying around should alone be a big symbol of his strength. How many marble columns can you carry around casually? None? That's what I thought. Since the game is bound to have tons of fighting types, I'd like to add that there are three in particular that I'd like to see. Hitmonlee, Hitmontop, and Hitmonchan. Hitmonchan being the one that I'm particularly interested in. I think a good addition for Hitmonchan would be a mechanic similar to that of Shulx from Super Smash Bros. You could alternate between Thunder Punch, Ice Punch, and Fire Punch to situationally deal with your opponent. As for Hitmonlee and Hitmontop, well, one uses kicks as a fighting style and the other spins around frantically dishing out miscellaneous physical bombardments. You do the math. And speaking of fighting types, another one that should be in this game is Halucha, only the difference here is that Halucha is also a flying type. I find that this would work very interestingly on the battlefield. Instead of dealing high amounts of damage, Halucha's role would likely be acting swiftly and controlling the battlefield. Sort of like a brain over brawn type thing, or something. One Pokemon that for sure uses Brain Over Brawn, though, is the almighty Asselgore. In the normal Pokemon games, Asselgore's Achilles heel is his defenselessness, but fortunately, it's extremely fast. I'm sure this would be a specialty if he was added to Pokin Tournament. Asselgore would move around quickly to boggle its opponent's mind, but you know that the moment you got hit, it was really gonna hurt. A Pokemon that I feel would also work similarly to this is Weavile. Weavile, though, while being very fast, is also an Ice type, which opens up an entire new array of fighting capabilities. I Vision Weavile using his ice attacks to slow the opponent so that it could achieve even greater mobility 
ability and gain a lead over the opposing Pokemon. Battlefield Manipulation would be this Pokemon's forte, but I don't see him being particularly defensive. There is one Pokemon who I do see being defensive though, and that's mother and Chestnut. This tanky grass type beast would be perfect for Pokemon Tournament. He'd be able to drop seed bombs left and right to absolutely cauterize the area and powerful wood hammers to use slow yet powerful attacks. And let us not forget Spiky Shield. This cool move protects the user while dealing damage to the offending Pokemon. And while Chestnut may be tanky, we can't forget the addition of the mother of all tanks, Hariyama. Mountains collapse around this big lug and his presence alone sends buildings crumbling. But with great bulk, surely comes great lack of speed. I think it'd be cool to see Hariyama using massive attacks that were slow, but super deadly and could stun even. The downside is, if you've got no clue what you're doing, his speed will probably get the better of you. Next, I want to see everybody's favorite turtle, Blastoise. I feel like Blastoise would be more projectile oriented though, because, well, arm cannons and the bazooka that he's carrying around. Seriously, holy shit. Have you seen this thing? But yeah, devastating water projectiles would be nice, but I can see him being a close physical damager as well with the use of his rapid spin attacks. Another poke that would carry a mixed playstyle such as this one is a personal favorite of mine, Marowak. His signature move, Bone Meringue, is alone a selling point for me. Tossing this bad boy back and forth would make for a very interesting battle. And if your opponent is still standing, no worries, Marowak's a ground type with plenty more in his move pool. That and a cool menacing glare. In fact, it's almost as menacing as Pangor Goro, who, let's face it, needs to be on this list. This would even further help mix up the type variety, as Pangoro is a dark fighting type. Plus, do you really want to risk telling this guy that he's not going to be in an up-and-coming Pokemon game? I wouldn't tread there. He's got an angry face and a twig sticking out of his mouth that shows that he's got attitude. It's no cigar, but still, would you screw with this? I suppose you might if you're feeling really brave, but I know for a fact that you wouldn't screw with Gallade. Gallade is a psychic fighting type, which would make for a very versatile fight Outwitting your opponent with psychic mind tricks is good and all, but sometimes you have those days where you just need to beat someone to a pulp with physical prowess. And while his mega evolution is powerful, the thing I like most about it is this. He's got a cape. Capes are cool. And while sweet accessories are neato, so is Greninja. Greninja quickly became a fan favorite upon the release of Pokemon X and Y and has even made a debut in Super Smash Bros for Wii U and 3DS. If the guy made it into a Nintendo Fighter game, there's no reason he shouldn't be in a game exclusive to Pokemon Fighters. He's fast, hits surprisingly hard, and is also a ninja. People like ninjas. But personally, while I think ninjas are fine and dandy, I'm more of a sword guy. That being said, give us Aegislash for Pokin Tournament. Why fight your enemies with a sword when you could become the sword? Aegislash has two playing styles. He can be defensive in shield mode or offensive in blade mode. There you go. There's enough around to please everybody. That needs a sword. All right, the next fighter on this list is the slick looking poison type Toxicroak. Poison is an ailment that changes the outcome of things in countless video games. In Pokin Tournament, Toxicroak's poison would be used to slowly sap away an opponent's health, dumping a boatload of stress on them and encouraging the user to find smart and innovative ways to deal with their enemy. And if that doesn't work, well, you've got these blades. Stabby Stabby. Next up is probably the closest thing we'll ever get to Jet Li in a Pokemon game, Mineshow. Mineshow is a pretty standard fighting type Pokemon, but the Kung Fu look is enough for me to say, yep, that's uh... That's a fighting type. Mind Chao's elegance and grace is the only thing shielding the fact that this marvelous Pokemon could rip your head off in a split second if it so chooses to. So we should probably choose to put it in Pokemon Tournament. That is, if you know what's good for you. Another fighter that would also clearly be capable of decapitating you is Mawile and its enormous jaws of justice. Specifically, Mega Mawile, since Mawile alone is pretty insignificant. This Pokemon's forte in this beat-em-up would be to omnom its way to the top, dishing out heavy attacks with... these. <laughs> also, Mawile is a fairy type now, which is something that would add any finishing touches to his move pool. That and Sucker Punch. You jerk. Lastly, but certainly not least, is a personal favorite of mine, Golurk, who I'm still completely convinced could destroy every single Autobot in a fight. Golurk's got one of the sweetest designs I've ever laid my unworthy eyes upon. He's a giant robot with giant fists. And if you're telling me that this robot can make it into a fighting game, then this one for sure should be able to. Oh, and Golurk can fly. He, he, fr he freaking flies. Case closed, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching, everyone. Since we're still here, I'd like to take a moment to say that I now have a Twitch.tv account. Be sure to follow me on there for live streaming adventures. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter for video-related updates, and if you haven't already done so, click that shiny subscribe button. Come on, it's shiny.
What are you waiting for? Oh, and here's a few more of my other videos. They don't suck, sort of, and you should watch them. Okay, thanks, bye!